Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, May 31st, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across blank schmancy. That's definitely fancy schmancy. We're going to build off an answer we already have in the grid. Let's see these downs here. Leaf changing season is fall. It's so much easier to get answers once you have the first letter already filled in. Prima Donna's big moment. Ooh. I wonder if this is an aria, like in an opera. It's a kind of a song that's in an opera. Brooklyn basketball team. That's the Brooklyn Nets. Tie in tic-tac-toe. Hmm. I don't know if I know the term for this. Is there a specific term for a tie in tic-tac-toe? Big initials in fashion? That's Yves Saint Laurent, right? That's YSL. Let's take a look at these acrosses here. Regions is areas. Arkansas's capital, that's Little Rock. Yeah. Bonnie Young Woman is a lass. It's kind of Scottish dialect, right? Oh, okay, you know what? I think I know what this is actually. I think I've heard of this. Is it a cat's game? Is that a tie in tic-tac-toe? I think it might be. All right, so this long answer here, Little Rock, that might be our first theme answer. Usually the theme answers are the longer answers. Let's see if that comes true. Composer Sadie, oh. This is a musical clue that's way out of my knowledge. Let's come back to that. Tennis star Williams, that's gotta be Serena Williams. Cher holder? Cher, like the singer Cher? Hmm. This question mark at the end indicates wordplay. So there's gonna be some kind of pun going on in this clue. I'm not sure where the pun is. Usually there's a standard reading of the clue that you can kind of ignore, but I don't even know what a shareholder. Oh, like a shareholder like in stock, right? Like a shareholder in a company would own shares in that company, but this is share spelled C-H-E-R. So, well, that's the standard reading that we don't want, but I don't know what the punny reading is gonna be with share. We're gonna have to get some help with that. Puerto Blank is gonna be Puerto Rico. Gross? A clue with quotes around it like this means we need an equivalent phrase. So something that means the same as the phrase gross could be ick. You'd hear someone say ick instead of gross. Apple's digital assistant is definitely Siri. The Odyssey for one is an epic. Okay, so something that could hold share, I guess would be an iPod. It would hold her music at least. Okay, overhaul could be a redo. Loss offsetter could be a gain. Uh, boy, we're still not gonna get this. Let's take a look at this next long across answer here. Bicolor cookies, also called half moons. Okay, I think I've heard of this. I've spent a lot of time in New York City, so I've seen these all over the place. These are black and whites, black and white cookies. They're in every deli you go into. So what do we have here? Little Rock, black and whites. I can't, I can't see anything that would tie these two together. This would probably be a theme answer too. Interesting. Well, you know what, usually in cases like this, what I've resolved to do is if I don't get an indication of a theme in the first couple of answers that I think should be theme answers, I'm going to go looking for a revealer. So let's look down in the clues here and see if we can find one. Looks like we might have one here at 57 across. Let's see here. Fashion designer associated with the item spelled out by the starts of 17, 26, and 42 across. Okay, so we're gonna have a fashion designer. Oh, Little 
black. This has got to be a little black dress, right? Um, okay. So this is going to start with dress, probably. Final practice before the big show. That's going to be a dress rehearsal, right? Dress rehearsal. Uh, am I spelling something wrong here? Is it like that? Rehearsal? Okay, yeah, maybe that's how you spell it. Okay, so now we need to come up with a designer that came up with the little black dress. Oh man, is that Versace? I think that's too short. Hmm. Let's see if we can get the first letter here. That might help out. Adds to an email chain in a way. I guess that's CCs, carbon copies. Okay, so is this Coco Chanel? Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got a Coco Chanel themed puzzle. The designer or popularizer at least of the little black dress. All right. Well, we've got our theme all buttoned up. Let's see if we can fill in the rest of the grid here. There's only one spot for this. Is that an ace? Like in a deck of cards, it only has one spot on it. It's a little bit of wordplay there. Hold responsible could be blame. Blank rudder, Jeopardy contestant with the all time highest winnings over 4.9 million, wow. Um, I think this is Brad. I feel like I remember Brad because I think he was maybe on that episode with Watson, with Ken Jennings and Watson, where they played the computer. I think that's right. Red as a stake, I think is rare, or so I've heard. Corporate giant spelled backward inside giant. Well, if it's spelled backward and it's inside giant, that would mean it would have to be A-I-G, right? I think that's an insurance company, if I'm not mistaken. Former British PM Tony. Yeah, that's Tony Blair. Is he a Tory? I think. I'm not that well-versed in British politics. <laughs> Circular food item that may come in a 16-inch square box. I guess that would be a large pizza. Nice, that's a good piece of fill there. I like that. Opening between mountains? Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. An opening between mountains. It's not a peak. That would be the top of a mountain. Hmm. Place for a brawl in a western? That has to be a saloon. Hey, over here. Another equivalent phrase we need to come up with. Maybe if you're trying to get someone's attention, it could be psst. Opening between mountains. Okay, that could be a pass, right? Going through a pass is like a pass through the mountains, right? Okay. Something tried out for in a tryout. Could that be a part maybe? Like a part in a play? That seems pretty likely. Places for tips, that could be jars. There's usually tip jars in cafes. Portmanteau for denim cutoffs. A portmanteau is when you take two words and you kind of smash them together to create a new word. So I think this might be jorts for jean shorts smashed together there. Up on a compass is north. Band pesticide is DDT for short, I think. Cause of some nose wrinkling odor, possibly, maybe like a skunk. Deuces, that's twos. That's usually in poker, they'll call a two a deuce. We've got some poker lingo on this puzzle, a little poker mini theme. German Industrial Valley, I think that's the Ruhr Valley. There's a lot of hard proper nouns on this puzzle. We've got Eric Sadie, the composer, which we actually hadn't looked at once we got it filled in. I've never heard of him. Tony Blair, I mean, he was the PM of Great Britain, but that was 
almost 20 years ago now. And then Brad Rudder? I don't know. These are hard. These are hard proper nouns. And Ruhr Valley is not easy either. Derriere is a tush. Derriere is your rear end. Superbad co-star Seth. That's Seth Rogen. Another proper noun. House Speaker Nancy. That's Nancy Pelosi. Crossing proper nouns. I mean, they're not like rare names. These are pretty well-known people, but still on a Monday. Blank from New York. It's that's live from New York. It's Saturday night. Blank Canal, connector of the Hudson River to the Great Lakes. That's definitely Erie. I was right on the Erie Canal in Rochester where I grew up. Sandwiches that may use Skippy and Smuckers informally. That would be peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Flash of genius. Could that be a bright idea? I think so. Blank alcohol fuel source. Could that be ethyl alcohol maybe? Installs as a lawn. Could that be sods? If you're like laying down rolls of sod. How was blank to know? How was I to know? Yeah. I've heard someone say that, or at least I've heard people say it on the crossword. Condition treated by Adderall for short. I think that's ADHD, right? Attention deficit hyperactive disorder, I want to say that is. Follows as order should be obeys. So what do we have on the downs here? Spanish gold, yeah, that's oro. I kind of have a mnemonic for remembering the Spanish word for gold. It kind of looks like or. It's got an O at the end of it instead of a E. That helps me remember that gold is oro. Existing in the mind only. Hmm. Is this going to be a Latin phrase? It starts with ab. That's pretty tricky. One of the Baldwin brothers, that's Alec. Oops. Probably should be spelled this way. Yeah. Opening for a coin, that should be a slot, like on a slot machine. A company on the red carpet, say, could be escort. How many times the Washington Nationals have won the World Series? I guess this has to be once, right? I think they won it in 2019, didn't they? Slowly seep out is ooze. When you see a clue with a word in parentheses like this at the end of it, that means you need to be able to put that same word at the end of your answer and still have it make logical sense. So ooze out is definitely a phrase that still works. So that's a good sign there. Pre-revolutionary Russian leader could be a czar. It could be spelled T-S-A-R or C-Z-A-R. It's kind of a 50-50 chance. Usually it's T-S on the crossword though, just because those letters are more common. Plane assignment could be a seat. And this is organization with bowl games. Yes, they have football bowl games in the NCAA, right? That's college sports. Possesses is has. Hold blank your hat. That should be hold on to your hat, right? Vegetable paired with potato in a soup. That's definitely a leek. I love potato leek soup. That's so hearty. Ah, it's so good. Quaint shop descriptor. That's old with an E at the end of it. That's old timey language, right? The old shop or ye old shop. Chocolate candy with a caramel center. That's a Rolo. I used to love those as a kid. Yeah, I still don't know what this is going to be. I think it's going to be Latin. Had a role to play, could be acted. If you got the part in your tryout, you could have acted in a role. Feed as a fire could be stoke. Oh, it's not Latin. I guess it's just abstract. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a good answer there. I like that as a piece of fill. Abstract, that's really good. One of a pair of a carnival entertainer. So it's something a carnival entertainer would have a pair of. So I guess that could be a stilt. You wouldn't want to have just one stilt, though. That'd be a lot more difficult than two stilts. Rice-shaped pasta could be orzo. 
Clown of Renown. I guess that would be Bozo. Balls. That could be Sobs. And a Horse's Gate is Trots. All right, let's see what we have on the last answer here. Is this another proper noun? Obsessive fan in slang? No. I like that. That's a little piece of contemporary fill there. That's Stan, right? I think this is another portmanteau, like Jorts. Doesn't it stand for Stalker Fan? I think it does. All right, let's see if that does it for us. We'll end on a good portmanteau. Ooh. We've got something wrong. All right, let me see if I can track it down, and I'll get back to you when I find it. Ooh. Looks like I found the mistake here. This should be Jive Talkin'. Number one hit for the Bee Gees, right? And then I spelled Rogan wrong. Rogan with an E. Okay, that's gotta be it. Let's see if that does it for us. Nice, okay. That cost us a couple of minutes on our Monday solve, but still not a terrible time. Um, how do we feel about this theme? I am not that crazy about seeing Coco Chanel on the puzzle. Um, I mean, she's, you know, obviously a very influential fashion designer, but um, she has kind of a sordid history in the World War II era. She was kind of associating with some Nazi figures during the war, and so, um, I don't know, there's kind of a stain on her history, so I'm never really thrilled to see her in a grid, and the fact that we built a theme about her... Uh, I'm pretty ambivalent about it. So, yeah, I can't say I'm thrilled with this. I mean, technically, this is a fine theme. You have a revealer here, and you take the first words to build a new phrase. That's all great stuff for Mondays. Just, I'm just never crazy about seeing Coco Chanel in a grid, just for historical reasons. As far as the rest of the grid goes, um, it was good, but there was, I feel like there was just too many... Uh, proper nouns for Monday, even though they're not like difficult proper nouns, except for this one, I think. I don't think he's that arcane. I think I've maybe seen his name before now that I see it, but the percentage of proper nouns in this puzzle is just really high. Pelosi, Rogan, Serena, Eric, Blair, Brad, just seems to be a lot. I don't think there's any in the bottom, but just that's a, that's kind of a lot of proper nouns for a Monday. Um, I do like the portmanteau mini theme here, Jorts and Stan. I like that. Um, and I liked the poker mini theme to an ace. So I didn't, you know, hate this puzzle. I like Cat's Game is a really good piece of fill there. I like Large Pizza. Saloon is fun. Uh, abstract is good. Um, yeah, so lukewarm theme and a little bit too many proper nouns, I'd say, but um, there's still some redeeming value in this one. Some good large answers here. But even with puzzles that I'm not super crazy about, I'm glad we can at least find elements of it that we enjoyed, like our portmanteau mini theme. And uh, I hope you were able to enjoy some of these elements also. Thank you for solving with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And yeah, I think that's gonna do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.